Welcome back, fellow history enthusiasts, to another intriguing journey into the annals of time with epic history explorers. Today, we shall embark on a riveting expedition to uncover the long-forgotten tale of two infamous cities, Sodom and Gomorrah. These ancient metropolises have been steeped in mystery and controversy, primarily due to their unfathomable wickedness and the cataclysmic fate that befell them. As we delve deep into history's enigmatic past, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Epic History Explorers, and hit that like button to show your appreciation for thought-provoking content. Remember to share this captivating video with your friends, so they too can partake in this extraordinary exploration. The Genesis of Sodom and Gomorrah The story of Sodom and Gomorrah finds its roots in the Book of Genesis, an ancient biblical text. According to the narrative, these two cities were situated in the Jordan River Valley, known for its lush beauty. The cities were notorious for their widespread corruption, immorality, and decadence, leaving the heavens themselves disturbed by the depth of their sins. The Sinful Ways of Sodom and Gomorrah The wickedness that consumed Sodom and Gomorrah knew no bounds. While the Bible does not explicitly mention the nature of their sins, it generally refers to their pride, gluttony, and moral debauchery. One particular sin that is often associated with these cities is homosexuality, leading to the coining of the term sodomy to describe same-sex relations. The fateful warning, as rumors of their wickedness reached the heavens, a divine plan was set into motion. According to the biblical account, God, in His mercy, chose to test the cities before enacting judgment upon them. Abraham, a righteous man, pleaded with God to spare the cities if even a small number of righteous inhabitants could be found. Unfortunately, the cities were beyond redemption. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah The fate of Sodom and Gomorrah was sealed when two angels, disguised as men, visited the cities to verify the extent of their wickedness. Only Lot a nephew of Abraham, welcomed the visitors and offered them shelter. However, even Lot's household was not immune to the city's corruption, as some of the residents attempted to harm the angels. Realizing that the cities were beyond saving, the angels warned Lot and his family to flee immediately. As they escaped, fire and brimstone rained down upon Sodom and Gomorrah, obliterating the cities and all their inhabitants, except for Lot's family archaeological discoveries, and debates. The intriguing tale of Sodom and Gomorrah has not only captured the imagination of scholars and theologians, but also piqued the interest of archaeologists seeking to uncover the truth behind these ancient cities. Over the years, several locations have been proposed as potential sites for Sodom and Gomorrah, but the exact identification remains elusive. One of the most notable candidates for the location of Sodom and Gomorrah is the southern region of the Dead Sea, which corresponds to present-day Jordan and Israel. Archaeological excavations in this area have revealed evidence of ancient cities that existed during the Bronze Age, supporting the possibility that they could be the infamous Sodom and Gomorrah. Evidence from these excavations has revealed a prosperous society in the region, with advanced agricultural techniques and trade networks. However, Signs of a catastrophic event have also been uncovered, including a layer of ash and debris, indicating a sudden and violent destruction. Some researchers speculate that a natural disaster, such as an earthquake or a meteor impact, might have contributed to the downfall of these cities. Other scholars, however, argue that the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah might not have been due solely to natural causes. They point to the biblical account, which attributes the city's destruction to divine intervention. The debate between a natural disaster and a divinely ordained event continues to be a subject of fascination among experts. The Legacy of Sodom and Gomorrah The story of Sodom and Gomorrah has left a lasting impact on religious, cultural, and artistic traditions. References to the wickedness of these cities can be found not only in the Abrahamic religions, but also in ancient Greek and Roman literature. The term sodomy, derived from the name of Sodom, 
has been historically used to refer to a range of sexual practices deemed sinful by religious authorities. The biblical account of Sodom and Gomorrah's destruction has also inspired numerous works of art throughout history. Paintings, sculptures, and literary adaptations have sought to portray the dramatic and catastrophic event, often emphasizing the city's moral decay and divine retribution. The tale of Sodom and Gomorrah, once lost in the mists of time, continues to captivate and intrigue us. While archaeological discoveries have shed some light on the potential locations and ancient civilizations in the region, the exact truth behind the story remains shrouded in mystery. Whether a natural catastrophe or divine intervention, the downfall of these cities serves as a timeless cautionary tale about the consequences of unbridled wickedness and moral decay. As we conclude this remarkable journey into the past, we invite you to continue exploring history's many enigmas with Epic History Explorers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on our future adventures and hit the like button to support our efforts in bringing you engaging historical content. Share this captivating video with your friends so they too can join us on this quest to uncover the hidden stories of our world's past. Until our next exploration, remember to stay curious and keep seeking knowledge.